Hi folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to try Don't Look Away. This is a game that you can find on Steam's Early Access program for about three bucks or so. I stress Early Access, that means everything that you're about to see is subject to change. Because this is a multiplayer experience, Idly is here with me today. Um, I did get some extra keys, so if you're a Patreon supporter, or if you've supported me on Twitch, um, if you've supported me financially, you get first dibs, you deserve it. So just PM me on Discord. There's a link in the below description. So anyway, what is Don't Look Away? Well, I haven't played it yet. Um, from my understanding, it's a strictly multiplayer game, minimum of two people. And one player is the human trying to find, I guess, stuff in the environment. I don't know what yet. And I guess escape. While the other team is the mannequins. And the mannequins We'll be trying to catch the player, uh, sort of like in Remnant Records and other games involving mannequins, they cannot move while you're looking at them. They can only move when it's dark or when you're not looking at them, that kind of thing. Um, but we're going to try it. This is just a pure let's try kind of thing to see what all the different rules are. Settings menu real quick. One thing I would like to see from the developer, sound sliders. Um, Free-to-play games nowadays have sound sliders so why not a two or three dollar game so i'm gonna have to go to my desktop audio mixer on occasion and turn down the sound or up as necessary um, but this is what you get for right now this is early access like i said all right so play game there's host match and join game i'll go ahead and hit host and then there's private and public we'll do private two three or four or five players we'll do two and password that's fine okay so one versus one, waiting for players. So, are you able to join my game, or do I have to invite you via Steam? Um, I think I'm in. Oh, I see you. Okay. Yeah. So, you joined via what? Steam? The no, the main menu. Oh, There's you on the main. The menu. Join private match, and then you can type in the password. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Well, in that case, do you want to place the human first or the entity first? I'll play as the entity. I'm really curious. All right. So, I'll hit start match. Okay. Find and destroy five altars. Left shift to sprint. V is voice chat. And F is flashlight. Okay. So take it easy on me while I learn. But there is a... I, uh, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to also like rush to beat this. I don't know what I'm doing yet. So yeah. I have to find five altars. They look like triangular, like Blair Witch kind of thing. And I'm assuming, can you tell me what you're seeing? Like, do you have multiple, you have control over multiple mannequins or just one or? Just, I only have control of one mannequin. Um, I can shift for, for sprinting or for attacking. R is to disappear, whatever that means. Interesting. And one through five. Oh, I can switch bodies. Okay. So one so through five lets you swap bodies. Yeah. Mannequins. So, yeah. It's so interesting. I have no idea where you are. Well, me neither, but... <laughs> doesn't look like I can actually go inside a house or anything. It's a whole neighborhood. It's crazy. Yeah. I wasn't able to choose a map, unfortunately. So, like, there's only one map from the looks of it. I would really like to see the possibility of more maps, uh, more customization options, like, um, you know, how many mannequins does your opponent have, or... Maybe affect run speed or, you know, that kind of thing. Anything to... I, I love being able to customize settings in this game or in yeah. any game. I apparently have a frustration meter on the bottom as well. Frustration. Is that filling up at all for you or is that... It's static. It's I don't know how to get it up or down. Okay. Oh, um, if you look behind you... Um, let me see if I can... There we go. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. Oh, so my... Fr my... My frustration is now going up in a yellow bar. It says, you are seen. Okay. So I have to switch bodies. Well, unless that. I look away, then you can move again, I assume? I I think so. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah. But the... Oh, okay. Yep. That's creepy. <laughs> Very creepy. Another... Oh, I see another mannequin. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, one thing I don't like is the head bobbing. Again, options menu, being able to turn that off. Like, I'm actually getting motion sickness from this. Yeah, me too. There, there's a lot of head bobbing with this. I mean, it's a good first effort for an early access game, but like, it's missing some quality of life features that 
make the game almost unplayable for someone like me, but... Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, I really hate that head bobbing. Anyway, so <laughs> your goal, I guess, is to catch me? Is that... Oh, yeah. I I guess. I see one of you. There's... Oh, okay. So, all right. So this is what I have to get, I guess. How do I... Oh, eat to destroy. So I hit E a couple of times. Oh, I see you. Coming around <laughs> that corner. All right. Wow, dude. You, <laughs> I saw that. You saw nothing. <laughs> oh, I saw it. This is, this is actually quite freaky. Um, the, the, the mannequin monster in Remnant Records is probably my favorite boss or monster to have, in my opinion. I just, I love that, you know, that mechanic. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Okay, so I do have a stamina bar in the very bottom there. Oh, interesting. Um, voice chat. Did you hear anything when I hit that? No. Okay, it must be only be for the friendly players. So when your stamina bar runs out completely, you can't, like, re-sprint until it's completely full again. Alright, so where am I supposed- like, there's no map as far as I can tell. I have no idea where I am. Oh, this is- What is this invisible- I seek something. Is that me? Oh. <laughs> I, I, I see, like, flashes of shadow. Is that you being in- Oh my god! Is that you being invisible right now? Yeah. I yeah. didn't know you could do that. That's funny. Alright, so there's another altar. So if I hit- I have to hit E, like, four times. Alright, interesting. That's scary. Uh, can you imagine, though, with- How would- How would that work with- <laughs> say, four mannequins, like, four people. Mm -hmm. Um, I think 1v1, it's a lot harder <laughs> because you have to control, you can only control one mannequin at a time. Yeah. Whereas in a four-player game or five-player game, multiple people can control the mannequins all at once. So how, yeah. I, would, I would imagine it would be a much harder the more mannequin real players there are. So I wonder if there's a way to balance that. Another freaking... And it's so dark. I, I need to raise my gamma or something. Like, I wish there was a gamma setting. Yeah. So, like, I love the idea. It's, oh my, what the heck? I see a shadow. No, you don't. I see. You, you see nothing. What does that do? What are you doing right now? Because you can actually move with that shadow. Yeah, it just, it makes me disappear, but I cannot attack you. Oh, but you can reappear Near oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I can reappear near, near Is that you. an ability that recharges over time? It's just you can do it infinite. Seriously? Mm-hmm. That's gotta- why? I don't like that at all. I don't even know- I, I mean, I haven't grabbed you at all, so you're doing really well. Well, I don't know- <laughs> I don't know where I'm at or where I'm going, to be honest with you. I'm just sort of blundering mm -hmm. around and- Did you just taunt me? Did I? You said, I see you. Oh, yeah, I think so. Is there a taunt button on your end? No. It's only when I turn invisible I start whispering things. Oh, I see. <laughs> I don't know if I like... I, I wanted. I want the option to turn that off. Like, <laughs> I think that's just... I, I love the idea that, you know, you've got to see him coming, and it's just more freaky that way. So I'm really curious as to how the game is... Oh! Okay, well, I guess I guess you got me. That's it. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. So I, I thought you would have like lives or apparently something. Apparently not. So I'll be the entity this time. Mm -hmm. All right. So okay. So there are numbers on my screen, so I can see where the other mannequins are. I have infinite sprint from the looks of it. Yeah. R to disappear, like you said. Wow, it's a lot darker. That's what I mean. Like I, I. There needs to be a way to turn the gamma up in this game. It's just too dark for the human player. Like, I can see so much better as the entity than I can. I wonder if you can see me even with the flashlight off or something. Um... No, the flashlight is the only way for me... I wonder if the flashlight is like a... Like, I... I possible like strategy in this game like 
Yeah. I don't even know where you are anymore. Okay, you passed a couple of them. So, yeah, I wonder if the flashlight is like a giveaway. Yes, because I'm like trying to go around without it. That must be difficult. How do you see where you're going? I don't. <laughs> it's tough. So as the one player, like, trying to figure out, like, I'm trying to keep track of where all the mannequins are at any one time. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's, like, no map or anything. Right. I, I, there needs to be some kind of in-game map for both players, in my opinion. I agree. That way we know the limitations of our arena, if, as it were. Mm-hmm. Uh, as it stands, I don't know where you are. So you, you can actually play stealthily in this game. Interesting. I have no idea where the last altar is. How many altars do you have? Uh, three. Oh, wow. I need two more. Okay, so, yeah, the taunt is automatic when you... When you disappear, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. No, I see you! That's bullcrap! <laughs> <laughs> that is bullcrap! <laughs> I don't even know what I'm supposed to do to get you. <laughs> oh, you got it. I think you won. To get back to the car. Where oh, the car interesting. Is. Go away. I don't know where this car is. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure you know where it is. I don't. All I do is- I, I hear things, though. It's creepy. Oh, hell. When I, like, run out of stamina- oh my god. When I run out of stamina, it's scary. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me. There's no way. <laughs> You got oh, it, see? Sorry. Look at you. You're a pro already. Not really. I'm terrible at this. All right, oh, so aside from, I, I, again, I, I think I've said everything I wanted to say about this. Like, I just think it needs more quality of life stuff, like mm -hmm. a map, a gamma, head bob, that kind of thing. If these things could add it to the game, it could be a lot of fun. As it mm -hmm. stands, because of the head bobbing and my motion sickness, I can only play this for maybe 10, 15 minutes at Yeah, a time. I agree. I would love some sort of bot setting. Cause... Yeah, bots, exact. I would love mm -hmm. I would love a co-op mode versus bots where the humans have to go around the map. Like, make it a full... F if, if the developer, if you're listening, if you've ever played Remnant Records and if you've ever played the mannequin monster or against it, I would love a co-op mode where it's you and a friend or a couple of friends and there are five computer-controlled mannequins trying to get all of you. I think that would be so much fun. Um, yeah. So hopefully you can do something about that. That would be sweet. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Any other comments before we take off? It was okay. Okay. For a three dollar game, again, I have to stress it's a three dollar early access game. I can't like I don't want to like demand too much of the game because it's only three dollars. But I'm hoping like if the developer just at least adds these quality of life things and then maybe yeah. increase the price if they can manage a co op mode. That kind of thing. I think that would be the direction to go in. But that's just my my little opinion. I agree. So. Head bopping, sound sliders, and bots, I think, would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. Well, there you go. That was Don't Look Away. If you guys haven't already, subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vince and Ida Lee. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.